Today we're gonna make some firewood and making with the Wolf Ridge 28C. Got some ash rounds here cut up. I'm um, here in Wisconsin, so we got emerald ash borer here. So over the last five years, all of our ash trees have died. And so, I don't know if you can see that right there, it's about a 15 acre woods that we got in Bet you 80% of it is ash trees. So that's what I do every weekend here is go down there, pull some logs out. So I pull some logs out, stack them up in here, get them covered, get them out of the weather. Uh, I don't know if it's just the winter that we had this year, but I definitely notice less BTU or burn time with the ash this year. Uh, we're burning and burning for my outdoor wood boiler there. Um, so I feel like I'm falling behind a lot of that ash up there and that wood's just starting to get a little pungy. And again, losing some quality and some BTU here. So this spring we're gonna make a uh, push to try and get all the logs out. And it's a lot. I mean, there's so much ash out there. It's sad that woods is dead up there. So but anyway, today we're just gonna split these rounds. Shouldn't take long. The little fridge splits pretty fast. Take you along. All right, let's get cracking.
So I've got a wood split here for the outdoor wood burner. Uh, bigger chunks just because the, uh, the the outdoor wood burner, I think, likes it in the bigger chunks like that. I don't know. Seems to work good. Uh, normally, I have all that stuff right there put in uh, one of two junky old utility trailers that I park right here in front of the wood burner. So that, you know, if it's going to rain or snow, I can just pull the trailer into the shed, keep it dry, or throw a tarp over the top of it. But both those trailers have developed flat tires over the winter here i've been burning since middle of october and now it's a few days away from march so we're about done for the season thank god um so this stuff here that'll be about two weeks worth i'm thinking uh this stuff here is ash that we split a month ago uh that was down and cut up for almost two years what i'll end up doing is when i'm done burning for the year the stuff here will all get stacked in the woodshed here and uh, this here is actually for our fireplace on the inside of the house we really don't need to burn on the inside of the house but the wife always likes having a little fire going this thing definitely keeps the house warm but uh, sometimes the wife just likes the crackling fire so that's all ash also and then this here oh, is all oak had a humongous oak uh, that was standing dead cut that thing down cut it up and this will take a few years to season obviously we'll get that all stacked here too when the snow goes away I actually got a few more rounds of that uh, split that I just didn't get to so it's my firewood done with the splitting for today and I'm gonna go in and eat lunch thanks for watching